Bella as Penta, who are currently playing out their match as we are as we are speaking. We'll give you an update when we have uh, one for you. <laughs> uh, this almost looks like one of those side scroller games right now. Uh, <laughs> Duke Nukem represent. <laughs> I'm all out of bubblegum. Well, Forest might be all out of bubblegum. Although they're all weak. We've seen a 1v5 on this map last time in this situation. Yeah. Well, in, in a choke point like this, potentially you Doesn't could. Matter. But it's not going to happen. Uh, Virtus Pro will end up taking the round. And it looks like they're going to swap. So VP decided to take the CT side. And this one, Khan got his wish. Uh, once again, well, he's just rubbing the right genie up the right way. But either way, Virtus Pro to defend. Ninjas in pajamas. It's up to them to get aggressive. And we're starting straight away. No delays whatsoever to get ourselves into the main round. So second time VP will start out defensively. Last time, they actually won the pistol round. It was the gun rounds that they couldn't pick up. Mm. Ensuing, but they ended up taking off a stellar round, or pardon me, half regardless. This time, if they can get a pistol again and build on it with a little bit more composure early on and figure out Nip a little bit sooner, it could be even more beneficial for them. They're going to go back to these duelies for snacks. Similar, in fact, setup with two smokes that we saw in their pistol round on, uh, on Mirage. Ninjas right. of pajamas. Quiet and up through banana. There's they actually got, they three, got one, though. They got one molly, and they've got one smoke. That's all that's in the hands here. And there's your first smoke. There's Covers the cross, and Snacks brings himself out even further. The perfect block smoke from Virtus Pro is there, too. So Ninjas of pajamas, they'll be walking through blind. Yeah, and like I said, there's three there. They're setting up for a bit of a stack. Pash is back on school. Snacks up close, and Neo's waiting for this crossfire. Already very low for Forrest. He's your best pistol player on NIP. Forrest still manages to get one. Nice. He turns back, gets a second as well. That's why he's so efficient on this pistol round. I think it was Scream who said during a cast he did with DDK that you kill Forrest, you beat Nip on the pistol round, you don't, it's over. And he's showing off the skill right now. Finally he drops, Bialy gets him, but it might be too late. The bomb's already gone down. They've got the HP advantage, but not the man advantage. Still one down. Well, maybe they can find one. No, get right. Well, at least Taz has managed to bring him, but get right still alive. So that's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Bialy's going to smoke and go for the defuse. He He's does have a kit. kit. He does have a kit, so it's only five seconds. How much damage can he take in through it? Oh, it get right just in time. <laughs> yep. That had to be on the, on the very, very last second. It didn't show up with that kind of view we were using, but it had to be on the very last second of the defuse. Man, oh man, that's, uh, that was extremely close. And if he hadn't have had the kit, obviously it would have been a lot easier where he did. It was questionable whether or not Get Right was going to make that shot. So he picks up three in the round, but Forrest got the two on entry that allowed that all to happen, and NIP collect the round in the end. Yeah, but it's not the easiest round to just follow up. We've seen Bialy already doing really great work with that Deagle, and that's what he's purchased up this time around with the flashes. Forrest checking the first corner, takes out a blinded Snacks. Needs to check over into Cubby as well, where Neo, he's protecting himself inside. No, he hasn't. He threw out the smoke and then walked back into the Molotov. As Alu making sure that no one's able to move up through that, that CT spawn. I think Virtus Pro won any part of this. The bomb get plant goes down. There is the chase coming out from, Virtus, uh, from Ninjas in Pajamas. Back over to the arch. Where Bialy's able to bring down Forrest. And he's got a deagle. Um, well, I can see Alu and as Taz well for a moment. Armor. I'm just trying to do math here. If they stay alive versus death right now... I want to go back to actually, our... I think it would be, be better for Taz right now. He should, he should actually bow out of this round if he could find a way to die, but Bialy could save. He's got 1,400 highest on the team, so Taz does go down. That actually was the better case scenario for him. All right, so Ninja Zip Pajamas, they do hold the second, the second round. As we were saying just before, that uh, second round was about to begin. It's always quite difficult in Inferno because it's just such tight corners that the pistols can be a lot more effective. But uh, Ninja Zip Pajamas... Been really, again, efficient with their smoke. And the fact they got those two flashes up on the top banana just allowed them to take it out too. But it's probably not holding very far up. And here they go again. NIP. Flash is coming up to the top banana. This time Neo's playing a little bit more of a forward position. They're still on pistols, however, VP. But Nip aren't looking over towards that B site this time. Wow, they've got that smoke halfway down banana that's holding them off just enough, so Snacks is using that invitation to get to a quicker rotation spot back towards CT to allow Neo to make the call, which now he'll do, but Freiburg's already put him down, and here comes Taz to make up for that and compensate, but this has split up the defense, and Freiburg's not done yet. He wants more on these entries. Actually threw their own Molotov here into in pajamas, getting the pickup across the fire, and the smoke then puts it out, so they can breach into the site, one back over at the spools, and now he's going to drop Taz. No more on the B side, but the rotation's coming. The smoke will cover it, however. 
And where is this bomb carrier? He's still back up in the top banana. They haven't moved into the site yet. They're letting, they're letting uh, the rest of the NIP players clean it up before Get Right will finally put the bomb on the grill. So easily down. Not a lot of guns lost, none yet. Very low HP. Finally, oh, Alley nice. goes down. Exist as well. He was actually high HP, but Freiburg eventually does get Bialy. Whenever you got a deagle and you get one shot into the head, doesn't matter how much HP you've got. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what Get Right was trying to mount right there. <laughs> is that a, that a, jump, so a jump spot? Uh, I, I didn't actually sure catch on. it because I was already peeking at the money for the next round. So they'll have an AWP out. That's going to be Alu already onto it. They're not going to up upgrade Freiburg. He'll stay with the Galil. Trying right. to win the economy game early. Pasha's got $1,000 left after the buy. Everyone else is completely broke on VP's side because they haven't been able to collect much more than, well, one apiece other than Bialy, who's got five kills. That's all they've got. I got a funny feeling that Bialy also bought. Did he buy it for Pasha then? Since, considering he's got the five kills. Uh, let me just bring up the money. Uh, how much did he spend? Either way, ninjas in pajamas this time. They've got two players pushing up through the top of Banana. They're not all the way in yet, but they're trying to force the rotation out from the A Archers player of Virtus Pro to bring him back over to help out Neo and Snacks. With weapons, I think two players is more than enough. And Freiburg doing the jump over the top of the smoke. He's trying to look over towards the spools, but he's not finding the opening. Now the flash from Neo. Ah, Freiburg just sprays Neo down to seven life points. Snacks on nine. They are not looking healthy on the HP. Hey, the money doesn't upgrade for that till next round, so I won't be able to see it. But nonetheless, nips off to a good start this time as well with Snacks and Neo down. Like you say, Freiburg, great entrance into B. That's Snacks. Forrest is also going to take down Taz, so both entry fraggers doing their job. Finally, Bialy, though, from Pit will slow down a little bit over toward A, but it won't matter. Freiburg's still going to wreak havoc. <laughs> on that site. The bomb was actually over at A at, despite yeah. that exploited B, but Get Right doesn't care. He'll go ahead and catch out the alley in the backside of Pit. They knew exactly where he was, so 4 to nil right now. Virtus yet to find anything CT side this time. The problem then for Nip was they didn't know how much damage they did to the two CTs that were defending, and they didn't also know if that rotation came from, from the A archers, so they had no vision of that. They were pushing up through the apartments. Eventually they did work their way into the B site, and when the A players went down, they are like, oh, well, okay, we probably could have gone there, but it's just so far over. Get Right, just become a drop bear. Drop down from the platform, out from the balcony, and kill him inside the pit. Forrest, very aggressive moving up through mid. Bringing Bialy down to 42 HP. And they've got three players from the CTs. Virtus Pro with pistols only. There is still that Deagle. But NIP playing the patient game. Great crossfire. Pasha able to find one. Alu getting revenge. Claiming a second scalp of the, of the map. Of the round. There's Nip. The bomb's still not going to a site. Like, Freiburg as well as exists. They're getting flashed up. They're trying to breach up into Banana. Onto the B site. Now they do find one. But if they're going to enter the B site, they've got to go up a little bit faster. With the last player left over. Okay, now just go to A. <laughs> There's no reason to try and battle up against Neo. They know he's there. Yeah, Ali's already, already gone back. Okay. Exist got him. But yeah, as soon as the shot came out, Ali started running. And just in the worst case scenario, they had... Yeah, it would have been questionable, actually, for time. When I think about it, he had 12 seconds top of banana end of round. Uh, mm. He would have just got there to round four seconds. I don't know if he would have had time to plan it. So had that gone wrong and he ran the wrong way, that actually could have been interesting. But no matter, Exist had it. We roll again. The CT from VP, uh, defense on top banana. This time it's a little bit further up. With the Molotovs and the Flashes, they're still going to hold at Sandbags. Not allowing Nip to really control up Banana. In fact, they're moving down. Bialy's already managed to find one. Alu. Ah, Bialy finds a second. Alu can't finish the job, but Forrest will. And Neo's already on the flank. Straight down through mid. Gonna take him out from behind. There goes Freiburg. And Virtus Pro. They've got a big advantage already in this round. But they have to hold it. Exists from up in apartments. He's got two players he can play with. Takes out Snacks. Searching corner after corner. You won't find the other T. In fact, that T, in fact, is going to be found out by Neo, and this will mop it up. The full flank all the way around, and Virtus Pro. They still lose two weapons in this round, but, but they claim the first one. Right, and importantly, they kept three. If they lost more than that, then they would be actually worse off right now in the buy despite winning, because they've now reset that money bonus. So by keeping just two guns, they're able to go to a full buy situation. They need to win this as well, though. They need to get back, because NIP... 
Still have enough economy with yeah. 8,000 on Freiburg and 53 yeah, on Get Right, but otherwise they're a little fragile because Ali won't be able to get out another AWP. They'll have to force buy out AKs for the rest of the team. I'm liking how Virtus Pro, like after you're being pummeled time and time again, they play aggressive up into Banana. They're not letting Ninjas in Pajamas just have this map position time and time again. Alu taking out Tastra and bump up to apartments. Bialy already waiting for him. Alu actually stands out there and takes the bullets as opposed to just backing up. So it's a one-for-one -one trade, and you've got your AWP on the deck. Pasha with the smoke cover. He can't see anything through the smoke. Just spraying. There were two T's there. Let's get right. It's now the man to move up through the apartments. The AWP is all the way up on the platform, but he just jumps down. He knows what he's here for. Take out Bialy. Control the pit. Control A. But there's still one player on the site. So they don't have control yet. And that snacks. In close. Freiburg takes him out. Back over towards the libraries. And Exist is Pasha taking no chances in the way he's bringing the bomb into A as well because they know they don't have that arch side secured, so why come up from top mid? He's going to throw it down to Freiburg so he can get the plant. He'll just stay in apartments and hold off the backside. But Neo and Pasha really don't have a way back in right now. They're still going to contest. <laughs> get right. Nice shot over top of Graveyard. We well, talked about that angle, how it's so hard to get in and out of, but on T side, post plant, holding off front library, I think it's an excellent spot. Freiburg finishes the job. Forrest was also able to get back up there and save Valu's AWP. So the money is held on to. Freiburg is so loaded. He had 12,000 at the start of this round. 6-1. This is a very well-funded terrorist group. And they're going to roll out again up against Virtus Pro. Only and pistols. I mean, six rounds already. T-side. It's, it's full eco too. No armor. No, uh, well, no we've grenades. Well, we two, two deagles. But True, two deagles. But that's yeah. like, you get one shot, boom, wonderful. Getting a second, that's the challenge. Gotta go for a world edit. <laughs> that was next level, man. Purpose Pro might be capable of that. And Snacks holding. The flash is coming, allowing Freiburg not to walk around the corner. Snacks is Deagle, as I said, just one shot's all you really require. It exists with the AK. He waited for, he waited for Snack to push up to try and find that weapon. But Neo's not going to give him the satisfaction. Has his back opposite side of Arch, CT side of Arch, because he wants that rotation spot. He's going to have to nail this. They're going to have to get the call just right in order for them to hold off that choke point. They're heading toward B. Neo's up yep. close on it. With only these pistols, he's not going to be able to do too much at all unless he just luckily finds headshots every uh, single man. Already but checking already the corner. Yeah, he's always on the leg. Uh, that's going to allow him to get in. One last, uh, one last player coming over from the A site now to join his teammate over on B. The plant to go down from Alu, very exposed plant site too. But Taz, he does pick up an AK, so he's got something to work with. Maybe we go through Exist. Alu will drop him with the Tech 9. And then the last player, Bialy, who is trying to get through the CT, spawn back over. Incapable of doing so. And that's 7-1 in favor of Ninjas in Pajamas. Virtus Pro, this time, they have a lot of money. So they can get the buyout. A quick shot. And Nip's just finding... Oh, that was beautiful. But Nip's finding all of the picks they need to exploit Virtus Pro entirely. Once they get them spread out, they're just taking sites with force. The entries have been absolutely spectacular from Freiburg and Forest, in my opinion, so far this game. And there's not really much Aww. of a banana presence as Alu's going to open up on Pasha mid. There's not really much of a banana contest right now. They haven't really been smoking it off. They're letting an IP again. Freiburg's al already up to car for free. Snacks is sitting in the corner, but he can't do anything. Neo's gonna have to play it one versus one, and again, there you go. Freiburg, both of them. Great reactions and spray control, and they did nothing to delay that from NIP. That hurt Virtus Pro even more because they sacrificed on Neo so Pasha could have just the AWP, but there was no smokes or anything to follow it up, and Alu was just waiting for him. Pasha literally walked into his crosshair. Bomb has been and now Taz and Bialy I think they're actually even concerned moving up to try and pick up his AWP. Bialy's the last man left alive, sitting at the top of mid. I mean, he's surrounded from apartments, he's got a player moving up through archers, and he's going to drop. So all five survive, but again, it, it, they've got to do something to slow down NIP. Well, how do you do it? I mean, uh, those shots from Freiburg, just perfect awareness. Two HP, all he had left by the time he finished them off, but... Didn't matter. Crack the site wide open. Get right leads the way with 10. Alu's on 8, but Freiburg's 
Got nine forest. I mean, the frag distribution is, is essentially close, but when your two entry fraggers have nine apiece, things are looking very good. Uh, Bialy is the only one actually on VP with anything. He's got ten. The next closest is three. But the most of, most of his kills came from these like slow rotations overall, waiting for someone to like expose themselves, and then he just gets the pickup. Where the rest of the VP guys who are trying to play over on Nana are really struggling to be able to hold it. Snacks, this is like the only way they're being successful down here, being so aggressive pushing down. But by doing so, they reveal they're here. The bomb is actually so far back, Ninja to Pajamas already own A. But they cannot finish the job just yet. Because the bomb has to run all the way back up through mid. Snacks, the last man left alive, he does have the AK. If he can hold on to this, it'll be an absolute miracle. Blind, flash one, flash two. Reveals his position, and Forrest will shut him down. And I, it, it just feels like VP can't control any portion of, of this map. No, they haven't. They I, haven't at all. They're getting picked in mid, they're getting picked on banana. The aggressive pushes I'm fine with, but at the same time, like when they keep buying these weapons, they don't have like heavy smokes. They can't hold the top of banana so so securely. They, they've bought out five smokes this time, which is the first I've seen in a while. Taz has already thrown his. And that's going to deploy finally just now, bottom banana. Now Neo. they're going to get it. Now they've got Neo up there. They've got Pasha Snacks all in banana. And IP, though, is already working up in toward the apartments. Bialy's going to have to be very careful. Now they're going to go for this backside rotation based on the fact no one's there. And Neo's already taken down Alu. So finally, finally, Virtus Pro taking some early aggression into the round. And again, they'll resmoke that off. Great play, finally. I need a hold. Four on three situation. Ninjas in pajamas. Moving heavily in, you do have one player already onto the A site. And that's Forrest sitting right on top of the boxes, so Snax doesn't know he's there. If he does, he's not certain of it. It's almost like uh, Ninja Pajamas are waiting for the rotation to come up so then they can find the opening. Forrest will finally be dropped as Neo walking around the corner. He'll find Exist. In fact, does that mention about Gun Exist? Who was the man who was in the pre-prepared position? So it's all down to Freiburg, and in fact, Exist is... yeah. Not happy about it. That might be a run, one of the reasons why. I just don't know why it took this long for them to realize they had to establish map presence. That banana, controlling banana, just gives them... I mean, banana, yeah, it's a choke point. It's Sure, you can contest it top, you can contest it bottom. The further down that you limit your offense to taking it over means that it's more obvious they're in middle, which means you can adapt your defense today. You slowly funnel them and channel them into that position. Freiburg. But now Freiburg is actually going to exploit... If he gets this, this initial one kill... On one, yep. If he gets this kill and gets the plant down... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, well, that's just going to be shot in the back. Um, he was out of time anyway. Basically, Neo needed to show himself in order for Freiburg to have any chance in that round. But again, I, I just... If they took that round strictly by having map control and forcing an IP to go to the A site. Yep. They had three players up in Anna early. That way, they could take that fight. They could take that early, uh, that early map control. As soon as they had it, as soon as Neo was pushed down and that secondary smoke was out, the other two players had already gone to A, and NIP had nowhere to go. But this time, NIP, with the early molly, he's keeping him back, and they're going to boost over the top of the smoke. Just using the flower pot to see up high towards the car. And Neo, well, he's going to push down again. He went for this exact spray position last time. And he's just trying to pound him back again through the smoke. But so far, Neo is the only one taking damage. <laughs> In fact, he just took a hell of a lot more. A bullet to the leg. As the flashes and smokes from uh, Virtus Pro are able to hold the top of mid. Bialy catching out Get Right. Unable to get through the apartments. Just shooting him out from Graveyard. I think NIP are about to fully commit up to the top of Banana. Freiburg's in nice and close. There goes your, your nade around the corner. Snacks. The flash is from him, so then Neo can go for the peak. Finding one. They're able to take out Freiburg. Can't, can't find the second. In fact, Alu is going to shut down Snacks. Neo will still survive. And support's rotating over from CT spawn. Almost one of those times when either you double back or you commit. And when Forrest gets an opening shot like that, you commit. Bialy also on the rotation. They're coming in from CT spawn. Exist ready to wait for him. Forrest and Exist able to find the openings. But 22 seconds to get the plant down. The last player, Taz, moving up through Banana. Exist is waiting for him and he'll get the shot. The plant will also go down. And Ninja's in pajamas. Now 10 2 on the T side of Inferno. Uh, it's just, it, they're playing absolutely great right now. But as much as I, I give them credit, I also take it away from Virtus Pro. Once again, that map control not established. They were trying, but they weren't ready for the for the jump 
through the smoke. They, they try to contest it for a moment, but then no confidence to still hold down the bottom banana. After that first Molotov got thrown out by NIP. This time, Snacks gets the opening frag, so Exist, they can't add as much pressure towards B anymore. And now smoke it off. This will allow Neon back. That smoke didn't go as deep as they would have liked, though. Taz was going to try and throw that out of spawn, but Snacks has already gotten there to get that early kill. But again, they'll use this smoke to leave Neo alone, and now they'll head back over, so there's four at A, and as they try and come in, Forrest is already down. Get right gets one, but Snacks is there. There's your first rotator. He got a kill at B, immediately went to A, caught out the second one. And the NIP players are so split up at the moment. Freiburg has to back up and help out Alu. Because Alu is battling up against three VP players while Freiburg is just in this. Okay, he's, he's spraying and praying through. But Alu, he actually got a Tech 9 killer from Bialy. He's got the bomb back over to B side. And Freiburg knew it. That's why oh. he stayed and won that battle because now they can try and go in. They're going to get pinched though. Snacks is going to come from CT. Taz going for big flank. And now it's all on Alu as Freiburg has dropped. But he might be clever enough too. He might actually realize that they've gone for this. That they're going to go back toward B. He's gone through the smoke, but he's not going any further. He could have actually ran all the way back toward A. He's worried about the rotation coming from CT I spawn. I don't think he realizes Snacks has already passed. He's waiting for Snacks to get there, but Snacks is already inside construction. Yeah, in fact, yep. he looked out looking for him and wondered where he was. Yep. He was already behind him. Uh, if he knew what we knew, he would probably just run to A, take get the planet down, and life would have been absolutely jolly for him. But Virtus Pro, they get a much needed round here. There's only two more rounds left in this first half of Inferno. And Virtus Pro, the pressure is heavily on them. They did get CTs, they won the knife round, they got the choice for it, but being, um, okay. They're playing with handicap as well, as Bialy just had 30 life points taken out by, by a friendly knife. The old ESEA pug system, no, no friendly fire, bad habit. Oh, look at, uh, good oh molly. wow, really Snacks good molly on position. 5 HP, he gets the shot on Forrest, that was an easy kill the other way, he didn't get. Uh, Forrest had to basically jump through the Molotov and battle up against Snacks, who was sitting on the high ground. I was like, good luck to him. Ninjas in pajamas, they're set up. Oh, Pasha, hello. Garrett is jumping through the flashbang. The bomb is on the B site, and with Snacks also dropping on the site, there's only two players left for Virtus Pro, Taz Wells, Bialy, and the plant going down with the fountain to give him the cover fire required. Or at least the cover position. Get right watches Bialy's most favorite entrance spot, and of course that's going to be through construction. And Taz, the only man left alive with an AK. He doesn't want to compete up against this. Save the gun for the last round. They're already completely strapped on money. So if he lost that, they would have absolutely nothing to battle up against NIP with. I'll fire away. This bomb's going to go off. Taz not even going to bother. He'll run back, save that AK. He doesn't need to get involved. Yes, even, even getting a single pick on Unfortunately, they do need to get involved. That's the problem. They just <laughs> need to do it earlier in the round, not that late. <laughs> it's a real issue for you, isn't it? <laughs> well, I mean, 11 rounds on T side Inferno. I think the writing is on the wall, unless we see absolutely something miraculous come out from Virtus Pro. But Inferno is looking very good for NIP. I have to say, it. Uh, it again going back to before Michael Ailey, going back to you know previous version of NIP with Faflaren back in the lineup. This map was not something that they enjoyed to play, and now look how great they're doing on it. And that's going to hold off toward the boiler room, which was already boiling with the fire at the top of the stairs, and actually catches out Big. on Forrest. Nice spray control. That's Halu down at bench as well, so two already dropped. Now they've got something to work with. Yeah, that they do, because that means the A side. It's almost impossible to preach. However, the entire A lineup has moved past the one T player who's sitting all the way up, almost on top of the pit. Yeah, and that's Get Right. I think Bialy is aware and goes back to check it. Yeah, so they know he's there. He's going to get flanked Get Right if he's not fast enough. Freiburg able to bring down Pasha, who pushed up through the mid. They pick up the bomb. Three players over on A. And Virtus Pro is rotating back over to the A site. So Once Get Right actually being behind with that AK was hugely beneficial oh, because look Taz. how much it opened up. They couldn't do anything. They didn't have the firepower to do it. So NIPs turned this completely back around. I love this spot from Get Right. I really love this spot from Get Right. To see him through the forks. It's almost impossible. It's an easy drop down. It's not as it's not as exposed or as limiting as Graveyard. And Neo's the last man left alive. He's at least going to pick up one. A lucky bullet maybe in a Freiburg could have done the work, but it's not going to. The half will end with a, a 12 to 3 advantage going the way of Ninjas in Pajamas. And they're on CT side now of Inferno as well. Advantage galore. 
able to see, at least we were able to see some T rounds this time around. That's great, right? Uh, but we saw a Virtus Pro without any creativity, without balance, without harmony. I felt they were really stressed overall. Surely they had a bit of map control every now and then, particularly Na uh, Neo pushed Banana, tried to get some early frag, which he did. I think a key round which kind of showcases what I'm talking about here is round number 12, where Neo picked up two frags in, ba in Banana, or at least one of them. There were five versus three, and when Neo kind of went back into the site to hide, and he just like stole them and just wait for the final attack, Snacks just felt like, okay, now is my turn to shine, and he ran out of Banana, and he died. And they knew where Neo was, and he was a bit, uh, uh, he was on fairly low HP as well. And NIP, once again, just executed around perfectly and won the round for them. So, very strong play for NIP, not so much for Vitus Pro. Well, let's see how they go. We're back in again for round number 16, the first of the second half. And Virtus Pro needs something amazing here on the T side. Absolutely amazing. At this point, it's just a whole bunch of decoys up the mid. The ninjas in pajamas. Get right's already in boiler though. He knows no one's crossed up at middle, so this is process of illumination and look what it's done. Yeah, Alu and Exist are already leaning back over toward the B site, so they're gonna Here be they met with company. Here they come. Let's the bullets just spray down as Virtus Pro. They like, do at least bring down Forest. They're having to battle for the back of quad. But the support's coming up, one up through banana. Exist finds one frag. A little bit further back and again quad. That's a two on four situation, a retake for Ninjas in Pajamas. One flash to try and help him reach through. That's going to work for his exist. Has to look towards the boost spot as well. Get right, tagging quite heavily into Neo. Still not on top, now he is. And a successful retake. With a four on two situation at the end, Get right and exist just do it solidly. And a CT victory, making it 13 rounds. Virtus Pro. And again, Get Right got the information just by pushing into Boiler and looking over toward mid. Yep. He knew no one crossed. Not only that, he was pushed up far enough that the rotators could get out, they could get over to B, and if they came, all he had to do was make a call early. They would have played for a retake at that point, but it, it played into them. They went to B, they went into four players for an IP. It was a little shaky on the entrance. It looked like Virtus Pro found some ground. In fact, they had found a little bit, but yeah. Defuse comes out. Now keep in mind, they've invested a little bit here on VP's side. They could have actually saved up full and gone for a full buy in the next round. Now they've got to get some kills to do it. Where's your opening? Snacks as well as Taz. I managed to take over apartments and boiler. But ninjas in pajamas, a little bit more of a, of a defensive hold. Exists with that M4. Shuts down that push from Taz as Forrest watching down the banana. He's currently covered and now, well, opens up. Going to work with that UMP45. While Alu looks like he's about to go for the Norv. And that finishes the round over on Snacks. Flawless. They don't lose a single gun. And Virtus Pro, well, they got a couple of AKs in their names. Right, and again, this comes off that That's early it. buy, so they'll be able to force it out. They'll go with full armor, three smokes to look for an execution, but not much more after that. They're going to have to be swift on how they do it. Three gives them an opportunity to go to A if they can get the smokes out toward arch side. Potentially truck and try and control the arch. I, I would prefer to see them smoke off the arch and take the truck side and one out apartments, but right now they're going to at first take this fight at B. I'll see who comes out on top. Snacks down very, very low on life and uh, exists sitting on the park bench just feeding the pigeons. Was able to find himself a pickup before he's taken out by Bialy. A get right, the top fragger for Ninjas in Pajamas. He's going to go down top of Boiler. And VP, nope, there's a big opening over on the A. And they're moving quickly. But NIP are also rotating for this already. Alu just holding there with the Nova on the side. Pasha trying to inch his way forward to get the plant down right on top of the pillar side. Then <laughs> Alu pops himself up. Snacks at least from the balcony. He's going to get a, a second frag if he can to Alu. He's a little bit cautious about it. Alu with that Tech 9 now to bring down Bialy. So it's a one-on-two situation. The bomb is still not down. Freiburg with the Pro 90. Spraying, praying, can't pray and hard oh, enough. Look though. how low the HP was to 10 and to 12 total. That P90 could have easily done enough if he just came one step around the pillar. VP get away with it. And an execution on A is where it went. It's still a costly round for them, but at the same time, if they lost it, it would have been all over. And they still have an op out now for Alu. In fact, double op. They're going to go for fourth, so we're going to see one over at B, one toward mid. And Alu's going to try and dodge that flash and go for a quick peek. He's going to have to be careful. They're already pushing up toward him. There's the first one. Pasha's down, but Neo's still here in the pillars. We'll keep an eye on him because he's lurking forward to try and get this presence over in the A site. He's going to attack Forrest pretty heavily, but Forrest isn't flinching. He takes a nade, and he misses the shot. So they know their second AWP is over on the B. 
But the commitment is so loose now, because VP lost two players pushing up into the A site. So it's a three on four situation. And an IP holding two players on each side. Make that a four on two situation. Uh, Make that a four on one situation. <laughs> <laughs> all you want. Oh, I never, get right. <laughs> the, the good old, every time you try and make a count, someone makes a difference. So we're on match point. I can count 23 kills over on Get Right, and I'm sure he's still going to make a difference in this round. Now go back to the double op again easily. Uh, it's, it's just so hard for Virtus Pro. They keep poking, and they keep getting snapped every time they poke. Now with four Tech Nines and a D. Deagle, Alu opens up the account, so I say goodbye to one of those Tech Nines, and scouts them moving up, and in fact, a double for Forrest! Well, and they're already leaving the server. Yep, they're already gone. Game game was good, game was golden. Bialy's left, Snacks isn't done just yet, though. He'll take Freiburg, and at this point, he's just playing for style points, because what else can he hope for? Well, there's like no faith in Snacks. Alu, he, he, oh, he, he spots the barrel, he, he spots yeah. the barrel. He knows he's there, but <laughs> <laughs> this will shoot him through the smoke. So 16-4, uh, Votus Pru uh, will drop down. See, it does change the name like that. Oh, yeah. Um, Double O. Yeah, I don't know why. I